Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 patch 22 first impression testing a few things and let's make it a discussion. So uh, let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so patch 22 is here. It was big and it looks promising. Let's just see how it's going to go. Right now, I'm going to be testing a few things that I want to test first for myself and also share with you. The first thing that hits my head is the weapon damage. Uh, how bad did it affect my build, etc. So, if I log in and show you my gun currently, you can see the damage is 291. It used to be around 400 something. So, basically, I lost about... 120 130 weapon damage uh, but we'll see it in action basically my build is uh, <clears throat> I never had any uh, damage per cards uh, whatsoever I mainly focus on intelligence and stuff like that uh, instead of good fix and artisan I have um, the chemist perk and uh, the gunsmith chemist perk so I don't forget to put it on when I'm making cranberries etc uh, this is my build and what here is should be this guy right here So at the moment I haven't even placed any legendary perk cards Although I have all slots available before I start messing around with this section I want to go test out a few locations and see how bad or how good my build still is So the first thing that I want to visit is West Egg Alright, so I've placed all my perk cards the way they usually are so as you can see this is my build by the way uh, my <clears throat> appearance apparel is all unyielding so this is what I currently have I'm looking to replace this piece with a uh, uh, unyielding preferably intelligence like what I have and add a weapon weight reduction I already have four of them and that's my perfect build so I'm working on a build which is Focusing on XP farming, then uh, normal damage for one tap, uh, the general enemies, and essentially the carry weight. So, over here, previously, before patch 22, I used to one tap all of them. Uh, let's see if I'll be able to do that right now. Oh, and they're level 75. That's weird. Oh, man, just a little bit. A little bit I'm missing out in order to one tap. So, basically... Oh, look at that. One tap. Huh. <laughs> it looks like it didn't actually do uh, that bad to my build. But the other thing is, I used to one tap them. Okay, 75s, I may not one tap. That's a problem. That's a problema. Ooh, 100. No, I need to boost my damage a little bit. I need to boost my damage a little bit. Is it just me? Oh yeah, I'm not getting all my experience from... Ooh, Radiational Rumble. That is the next place we're gonna go and check out. Will the level of those guys will actually uh, increase or not? Yep, looks like I am gonna have to add a few more perks into weapon damage. And... I will be able to one tap things again. Yeah, as you can see, without sneak, I need to two tap these guys. Ugh, cockroach. Okay, what if I put on a three star just to test it out? At 20% more damage while I one tap without sneaking. This is one tap. Okay, level 100 I will not one tap, but 414 XP, and that is without Mentad's berries, without my uh, Cranberry Relish, without my uh, Inspirational perk. So yeah, it looks like I'm gonna start. I'm gonna need to start using these uh, damn perk cards. I was hoping not, but there we go. Oh well, let's go and check out what happens with the rumble. Uh, it, they used to be level 40, if I'm not mistaken, all the time. Now let's see who are they going to be.
So, by the way, uh, now that we're checking this out, the uh, level of the enemies have changed. Uh, by the way, I had that shish kebab. I want to check it out as well because previously it used to do energy damage and now it does flame damage. And we all know flame damage has received a good boost. So, uh, I'm really curious to find out how much uh, the shish kebab will do damage now with the... Well, are you going to talk to me? Did I just find a new feature? Okay, there we go. So basically, as I was saying, I'm curious to find out what is going to be the damage for the sh bloody shish kebab. So as you can see, even the badge over there changed to the fire damage. So I'm really curious to find out. Alright. Whoa. The hunting rifle. I don't remember it being doing so much damage. Lol. Alright, so, what level are they? So curious to find out. Actually, you know what? 60! Hey, yeah, baby. Oh my god, we're gonna get some real good loot from this area then. And I can't one tap them. Uh oh. I need more power. I can't one tap, man. I used to one tap these guys. No! <laughs> Yay! I just ranked up. So yeah, is looking good. All right. Since I'm here, let me take full advantage of all this XP because this event gives a lot of XP. I love it. You should love it too. <laughs> Yep, my damage and survivability really, really suffers. And this was a fixer, by the way, without any damage per cards, which actually did a pretty good job. Now I need to think whether if I want to go shotgun or fixer. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I definitely want to think about it. Final location that I really wanted to test out is uh, White Springs and essentially the White Springs sentry bots and uh, I hope they still give XP. <laughs> okay, I really 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 need to rebuild my build. I really 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 need to redo my build. I very much indeed need to redo my build. This is very crazy. I used to want like to tap these guys without sneak. This is crazy. Oh my god. And they give way less damage. I mean XP, my bad. Damage they deal good. But these guys used to give way more XP than 1000. What the hell? Ah, never mind. That's because I don't have the inspirational, I don't have others. Okay. Okay, maybe. Well, uh, they give XP, that's already good. I'm satisfied. Oh my god. I, I, I don't know. I cannot one tap. No! This is the end of the world, man. I think I'm gonna start. Gonna have to start using the adrenaline and all that stuff. Cockroach game. <laughs> Actually, no. I'm happy about the nerf. It, it, it must have been done. Alright, and the last target that I wanna see how is it gonna go is that guy right there. He used to be level 95 and now he's level 100. Five levels of boost. Maybe he's gonna have more levels. And I used to two tap him and sneak. <laughs> oh, damn. I do not know what I want to do with my build now. I really don't. Oh, Karponski, man. 
Alright, and now we're going to be testing out the uh, One Wasteland. So basically that scales enemies to your level. Even if you have a lower level player with you, you both will see different type of levels as far as I understand. So in the forest region, you can reach and see level 50 guys. And I was testing the Shish Kebab, which two taps these guys. But my shotgun is a one tap. So. The beautiful of the beautiful of the beautiful part here, right now I'm taking over the lakeside cabins, is that even the workshops spawn in level 50 guys. Now those who have already uh, been watching my channel for a very long time, you all know I love to grind my levels at the workshops. So previously I used to take over this side of the map because it would spawn in the highest levels like I would not even bother taking these workshops because they would spawn like level 1, level 5 which obviously like don't play a big role in terms of uh, XP farming but now things have changed when I was working on today's Atomic Shop video uh, I did this part and it spawned in level 50 super mutants so let's see who they're gonna spawn in this time alright well we're still waiting for prepare your defenses for the lakeside cabins I'm I came to the uh, Summersville uh, location this used to be my favorite spot to farm uh, super mutants when I was a lower level and now I'm curious to find out if they are level 50 uh, to my current understanding the forest area is all hooked to level 50 area I mean to level 50 guys Unfortunately this time it's not uh, super mutants, it's blood eagles and they are level 50. And the good thing about blood eagles, they drop marine armor and armor, like different types of armor, weapons as well. So you can like uh, start farming the cultists, the blood eagles uh, for XP, for their loot. Because you all know when you scrap uh, armor or weapons, you have a chance to unlock a mod for that specific armor or weapon type that you're scrapping so this is pretty cool now we got a wave of robots uh, previously what happened was if I wasn't to be in the area it would spawn in like uh, the lowest level of that location uh, enemy so now that I did not spawn in I wasn't there during the start of the event let me see if they're still gonna be level 50 if they are gonna be still level 50 man that's gonna be epic because I really felt that when like there was a wave of super mutants, like I see wave super mutants. And we was busy doing the queen and when I get there after the queen, well the time ran out and you gotta go retake it, it they're all like level 15 and so on. Basically not the top level because previously I was doing that area. But let's see if they are gonna be level 50. So robot robot, level 50, yeah. Hello, hello. Sweet. Two more locations that I really want to check out is the uh, Point Pleasant. Oh, man, I keep forgetting the name of that. Also, I used to farm their um, weapons for mods and steel and stuff. But uh, before Wastelanders, there were a lot of Scorched over there. Now, it's filled with Cultists. And Cultists were level 1. Uh, I'm curious to find out what level are they right now and if they're level 50 man that that place is gonna go on my book to do because cultists also drop different variety of guns weapons uh, I mean uh, weapons and armor and stim packs and a whole bunch of other stuff so those guys are really good and I was talking about this location right here Point Pleasant I was right the next one is gonna be the airport not the workshop the uh, man I forgot Morgantown Airport uh, the reason is there is a an event that you can trigger it should spawn a wave of scorch and I want to see if they're gonna be level 50 or not and in general this looks like the, the entire forest area for me is linked with level 50 mobs man that's cool Alright, so fingers crossed, here we are. And by the way, on top of everything else, while playing this, I haven't been disconnected not a single time. I didn't see no lag issue as well. So it, it feels like the level 50, they're level 50. <laughs> oh my god, man. 
this is so cool. I am like generally like happy where this game is going. Although my my damage, my damage, man. But this is the this is good. This is good. Well, although this is my still first impression. Okay, this is not good. What is this? 95% fast hit chance and how many shots did I do like four and missed all ah and yeah those molotovs were OP even when they were level one man that fire damage is insane I need to get fireproof I think I need to work on my uh, damage I mean defense because previously I would one tab and it won't be a big problem but now See that? Jeez Louise. So yeah, you get the point. They're level 50, man. I think any, pretty much any location now in the forest is level 50. I'm curious to find out uh, what is the level cap for the other regions, which we're also going to take a look at in this video. Alright, so we just fast traveled to the Morgantown Airport, and uh, if my theory is right, all of these guys should be level 50. Plus, I'll show you how to trigger that event that I was talking about. Uh, because it will spawn in, I believe, four or five waves of the Scorched who are gonna be and should be level 50. Man, <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is this is very nice. Wow, I I actually like I actually right now while doing this video, I really want to keep playing this game. 76, what's up? They actually did it, man. I mean, so far. So once you get to this location. Uh, you pretty much just interact with the flare launcher and it will start to spawn in uh, a few waves of the five waves of the scorched and uh, basically you kill them all uh, it will give you a cargo bot will drop in dro drop you some loot over here and uh, if you will need to scrap everything you have some stations over here where you can scrap all the junk that you can, oh, well, basically weapons and stuff like that here, uh, and that will give you a good amount of, uh, like, you know, junk and XP. Looks like they're level 50. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. This is really, really, really great. <laughs> Alright, it looks like the Toxic Valley is also hooked at 50%, I mean, percent, uh, level 50. I don't know, 75, what's up? Okay, that, that's good. So, right now you can consider that the highest level in Toxic Valley I saw was 75. Because uh, I came here to capture the workshop that I usually capture in order to get acid. Yeah, it's way, it's more than 50 here, this area. This guy's level 60 and used to be like lower. Sweet. So I would assume that the Toxic Valley would have like max level 75. So as I said, I, I came here to capture that workshop. Let's see what enemy, what type of enemies it will spawn in and the level of those enemies. And at the moment, I want to see what level are going to be are those uh, cultists. <laughs> Alright, so what level are you boys? Okay, level 50. Do we see a level 75 or 60? But man, level 50 slash 75 is still good. See Stimpaks. Yeah, it's still level 50. Uh, I was hoping that elite guy to be someone better, but okay, I can lower that. Cultist dagger. All right, level fifty. Let's see what uh, level will spawn in at the workshop in Toxic Valley. All right, so here we are. Toxic Valley and we got four waves of ghouls. They used to be here like level 10, 15, but now the level 50, which makes my life so much easier in getting that XP. This is why I'm right now farming the workshops will be just the correct thing to do. 
That's crazy. Look at that. Sweet. That is a lot of XP. Man. <laughs> I'm gonna get addicted to 76 now. <laughs> Alright, so this is a quick test of the Elder of the Pack event, which is in the forest, by the way, location. This used to give uh, one star wolves level 10 so the loot that they would drop would be for low level and now they're level 50 one star oh <laughs> a junkie ma light machine gun <sighs> damn this is good oh my god why can't you make them three star that would be even better which means by the way in theory and i believe that's uh, guaranteed fact the uranium fever will also have scaled level uh, enemies and uranium fever usually also I mean it always spawns uh, three legendaries and usually sometimes they are three stars meaning that they're gonna have level 50 and above uh, that means that finally the legendaries that drop there we will have a chance of actually getting something good for ourselves. I remember I got some real decent uh, bloody unyielding sets from that event but the problem it was that um, they would be like level 35 level yeah, level 35 basically because I think if I'm, my memory doesn't fail me they were like around level 40 or something so it couldn't go over level 40 uh, so it's just crazy now man I wow I am very well impressed it's, it's just every every time I test something out I get even more and more impressed this is good all right so now we're testing the ash heap territory and this thing keeps following me around this, this is the only bug so far I've encountered throughout uh, what is it like three hours now of gameplay I haven't run into any other bugs. So, a level 50 iBot. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, these guys are level 50 as well. I wonder if we'll... I'm pretty... level 60, there we go. So I'm pretty sure... Okay. What about if I capture the workshop in this area? what levels will spawn in I would assume and my predictions are gonna be level 50 oh level he just vanished me man what the hell wow <laughs> Dude, that is insane. I really need to do something about my build now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they got that third ridge. There you go. Damn, man. Oof. Uh uh. No good. Ah. Yeah, I need to invest into my damage perk cards, man. Actually, I already uh, started leveling out one perk card, which is the strength from the legendary perk cards. I maxed it out because I was planning to do that in whatever case. And, uh, damn. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is, this is insane. Uh, so, yeah, it gives additional slots. Like, originally my strength is 8, but since I have that perk card, it allows me uh, to put more parks which is amazing but it looks like from now on I'm gonna have to run with the shotgunner three stars so I can deal a good amount of damage because if you remember correctly my damage was 
uh, if I remember correctly, what? Ah. Come on, Nerd Rage. See? 359. That's already better than s nothing. And you know what? Let me try putting good with soul, serendipity. Oh, damn it, man. Better with crits. Oh, cockroach game, man. <laughs> I wanted to put bloody mess. Okay, let, let's see, let's see if I can one shot those level 60 beasts that one tap. That guy pretty much one tap me, man. Yeah, but I believe that's because I I was in sneak mode. Let me get into normal mode and see if I'll be able to one tap him. Nope, but he did one tap me, man. The game is getting hard. <laughs> I need to work on my defense. I can't. I never died so many times in my life. All right, here we go. Uh, we just started the defend uh, event, defensive event for the workshop. And yeah, as I predicted, these guys are level 50. But still, man. It, and they give a, a good amount of XP. According to my memory. But man, I already ranked up to rank 5 in Seasons. And I still haven't done all my challenges, so... It's gonna be pretty much easy, I guess. <laughs> Now I'll rank up my uh, legendary perk intelligence to maximum and get even more maximum XP. That's crazy. Actually, hold on. How much does one right give me? One seven eight. All right. So as you can see, I maxed out my intelligence. So I was getting one seven eight from my rat, and now let's check. Yeah, infected rat. 190. <laughs> hello, hello, 190. 178. Well, when you kill a lot of them, actually, it does make a difference. But, in whatever reason, whatever the reason is, I might drop my intelligence back to 10. So, the legendary her card will back me up and I'll be able to increase something else in case if I decide but as I said my main focus for my build is the XP farm then balance damage and then uh, carry weight stuff so I'll just need to see what I can do it's crazy all right and the final just quick test I want to see what level blood eagles are in uh, ash heap so I'll Level 50. Ah, you cockroach. Oof. That was a level 60. And he dropped a 50 cow. What are those? Blight? Oh, laser. Yeah. Finally, the game is getting that challenge, man, and we're not stuck into one, like one or two regions. We can go more. Level 60. What's up? Hello. You see, and they give plasma rifles and other guns, which gives actually good scrap components, and uh, you don't have to craft them in order to unlock the mods. This is this is great. Alright, so now we're in Savage Divine and uh, we're gonna go to Huntersville, check out the Super Mutants again. And uh, I changed my build a little bit, gave him a little buff. So as I've already shown you, the Shotgun Master, right? And boosted up my intelligence a little bit. Let's see how much XP will the Super Mutants give me and can I one tap them without uh, sneak. So level 75, man, still no one tap. This is no good. If I can one tap them, then uh, yeah, level 50, no problemo. 
one tap. I definitely can one tap him while being sneak mode. So that's already good. <laughs> can I get a a hundred? No, he, I can't one tap a hundred. It was so close. But, but if I uh, get that adrenaline, then maybe I should be able to one tap. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, a quick test uh, once again with the Super Mutants at West Egg. I've actually added one more perk, which should solve my problem, which is concentrate fire, and we concentrate on those hit shots now. And now I need to get my wow. Seriously? What the hell? Blow his freaking head off, but man, this is no good. Definitely not how I wanted to go. <laughs> ah, Kokoro's game, man. You know, with this thing that's happening, for me, it might even be better to switch to Commando, I think. As you see, look, it's definitely a one tab. That's for sure. With the headshot. So, yeah. Oh, Karponski. Now the car is going to explode. Seriously? I need to get that damage reduction. I mean, defense up. Maybe even HP. I don't know, man. It, it finally started to feel. I have, I, I t I'm telling you, I've never died so much before, ever. <laughs> like, this is crazy. It's crazy. One tap, level 100 without sneak. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna keep it like that. But okay, we get level 100 in the Savage Divine region with the Super Mutants. Actually, you know what? One more quick location I would like to stop by is to check out what levels the deck are gonna be in Copewell Cave. All right, level 60 bugs, and I just got a legendary. You know, with this levels. Now it will be way easier for us to find, like really, like, like, really, like 95% and you, you, you can't land that headshot, are you serious right now? I need this for my very man head. Level? A hundred. Ooh. And I can't one tap him. Previously it was two taps. Even sometimes one tap. Oh wait, he was way lower level. And I think it was one tap always. Can't remember, I haven't killed these guys for a long time. Last time I was grinding them was during season one. But man. Ugh. Let's go check out another region. By the way, uh, the ammunition factory defense event has spawned in level 60 mongrels. So I believe here you can get a wave of much higher levels than the usual. Where is the final dog? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay, the cockroach must be outside, or he spawned again somewhere underground or something. Or maybe he's on the roof. <laughs> so yeah, 
Uh, next we're gonna check out the mire and uh, cranberry bog, but we're gonna do just the the workshops and see the levels. What's up? What's up? This is good. I like. It. See, this thing just keeps following me, man. <laughs> and gotta tell you, so far, once again, it's three and a half hours, and that's the only bug I've encountered. So this area is being protected by these guys over here. I want to see how much damage I'll deal with them. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ooh! Eesh! Ah! That really hurt. Yeah, well, two shot. I believe I also two shot at them before. So, kinda ok, I guess. But I'm more curious what levels will they spawn in. But I believe that level also depends on the creature that's is spawning in. Man. But, but yeah. The game is going to be interesting now. <laughs> Cockroach? No! Yes sir, thank you. Start the capture. Alright, so I was lucky enough, uh... This Dolly Sod's workshop has spawned big enemies, those guys that were guarding them, meaning that there should be level 100 or so. So we got a level 60 here. Come on. Th that is so stupid, man. What? That's it? Just one? What? Oh, it's retake. Weird. Wait, now what? Did I ever take it? No? What's going on? Well, whatever the case is, it's still good. <laughs> Alright, and now we're gonna test out the cranberry bog. That's gonna be the last one. So we're gonna clear out this area, and we have already level 60 guys over here. Plus, we should have one more behemoth. Let's see how much damage I'll deal to him. And look at that box, man. Still following me, man. That cockroach box is getting annoying. Okay. How the hell did they kill the glooper so fast? I'm definitely happy that I got that perk to headshot. That makes my life way easier. Okay, let's see about Behemoth. My man Behemoth. You glowing cockroach. <laughs> now we talking, man. What's up? <laughs> what's up, what's up, my man? Now we're talking business. Alright, so Cranberry Box summoned the Mall Rats. Level 60. Man, I think I've never seen a level 60 Mall Rat before. <laughs> to be honest, ooh, a 3 star. What's up, kind of daddy? Nice. Oh my god, this is gonna be so much easier to. As I already. I don't know how many times I already said that. I'll say it again. It's gonna be way easier to farm legendaries and have a chance of getting a decent weapon from a, a, a loot. Where the hell is he? Okay, and I need to aim extremely just for the headshot, otherwise I don't land that one shot. And still, these guys are my number one hate list mobs. <laughs> Damn. 
And now we're getting to the legendary perk cards. <laughs> now, just so you understand, I've been doing this for like uh, 20 minutes now. <laughs> I still got a long way to go. First, it took me like a good amount of time to clear out the perk cards that I didn't want uh, from what I already had. And I have over 160 levels stored ever since season 2 started. I mean, season 1, I leveled up on. Uh, over a hundred times so it's crazy and I'm just doing this one thing so I can get rid of it so by the way uh, just so you know uh, uh, I already got myself two max styles so that's in uh, strength and intelligence I plan to do that with uh, luck as well so I can remove five more points and invest them I'm thinking into agility uh, and strength, yeah, three agility and two strength, and it will be perfecto. So basically, afterwards, you find the ones you don't want, and you just start scrap, 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 scrap. So one per card that you scrap gives you two points. It doesn't matter if it's two, you'll have four. If it's three, you'll have six. And all you do is scrap, 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 scrap. But be careful, don't scrap accidentally a perk card that you actually want, because I actually scrapped it by mistake a, uh, a three star card. But with my cards, it's okay, I can get it back. It's not a big deal. But if you don't have a lot of savings, man, you better be careful what you're scrapping, man. <laughs> Alright, so it took me about over an hour to get all this done, and man, even with my level, I still haven't got everything that I need. I maxed out these, and for this one, I really, really want to go with the Master Infiltrator, or... Oh uh, no, Master Infiltrator, most probably, that's going to be... Or maybe perception, I'm not sure. I'll need to dig into these cards. But so far, my build is looking like this. <laughs> I decided to put on some perk cards to get more defense, as you can see. I got some ironclad barbarian. Then I've got here uh, chemist, evasive, adrenaline. And by the way, since I'm not on a team with anybody, I can put Tenderizer. So, Tenderizer. And right now, we're gonna try the final, which is Daily Ops Uplink. The Boros, man. Robots. Freaking robots. Are you freaking kidding me? Can only be killed with a melee attack. Are you freaking kidding me? Greatly enchanted perception. Are you freaking... Like, from everything, all of it, why do I get this? It's like, I hate robots. <laughs> Especially those small little Chinese spider robots, whatever they're called, man. I forgot. Oh, man. And can only be killed with a melee attack. Well, luckily for me, I got the bash. Boom. But man. Alright. Well. Let's give it a try and see how it's gonna go. Although, I really don't think I'm gonna be able to pull it off. But. Let's do it. <laughs> Freaking robots, man. <laughs> you cockroach. <laughs> let's go. And here we go, uplink borrows. Let's give it a couple of seconds to load in, because we all know that the timer is still not ticking. Oh crap, I'm overweight. I'm overweight. I guess it's time to go. Alright, now I can move. 
good. Let's go. And I just had, to, I don't know this place, man. What the? And these guys. Oh my god. Freaking really, man. And I can't, I have to bash these guys? Are you for real? Why aren't you dying? Oh yeah, bash. Freaking hell, man. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what happens if you die? You restart. I just had to get the stupid freaking robots, man. And freaking bash. There's no way I'm gonna do it in eight minutes. There's just literally like no freaking way. That's like like the worst probably combination you can get. Come on, go, 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 go. That guy is not even dying. Oh hell no. This is the worst freaking combination you can get. Like, if I see that you gotta kill something with a melee damage, that's it. It's like, psh, There's no even point to continue. to another level oh man no hell no I'm not gonna do it why are you freaking missing the target you moron zero percent are you are you serious right now like, someone tell me is that even legit Those lightning cockroaches, man, they're just destroying me. This is what I call freaking real hardcore, freaking crazy, crazy hardcore, you know. Ha! <laughs> I thought I was a smart one. <laughs> Switching servers is gonna help. Hell no, it's not gonna help. This is a public world and I'm screwed. <laughs> Spec Ops? No? Ain't nobody doing Spec Ops. Daily Ops, man. Oh, Kraponski, man. <laughs> well, it's hard. <laughs> it really is. And I'm not gonna do it. I'll do it again. I'll upload another video. But uh, when we're gonna have 
something that has nothing to do with can only be killed by a melee attack because that's that's freaking ridiculous that is that is stupid and that, that is like you're forcing a person to use a melee weapon although bash and eh, I don't know man I don't think even power armor will save me man that is insane <laughs> it just got destroyed <laughs> ah. man I gotta work out you know those stupid robots man they messed me up <laughs> real bad. Look at it. It's someone's cam, by the way. That is actually cool. I have I think I unlocked it as well while doing this video. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check. But I'm here to do a daily. What you got here? Maybe something cheap. Really? Look at that curse harpoon. Man. Oh, there we go. Ta da. Boom. Rank 7. <laughs> ah, connection. Rank 8. <laughs> <laughs> While doing this video, almost rank nine. <laughs> By the way, also a great addition to that you can now fast travel to Foundation for free, and uh, to the uh, to the crater. So that is actually really really nice. Hey hey hey! <clears throat> now we can buy lunch boxes <laughs> from the for using gold bullion. What's up? Free lunch boxes coming up. And by the way, it, they've written that you've, they've also added different uh, plans and things that we most probably missed out uh, from another season to this uh, to the sales. What I want to check out is can you buy more lunch boxes at Crater now as well. Really interesting to find out. <laughs> you can check this out. What's up? Boom! I know where all of my gold bullion is going. Man, that's six lunch boxes. Okay, what if uh, Vault 79? Will we get lunch box over there? Oh, looks like no more lunch boxes over here. But definitely, I can see there's way more plans over here ultra light build secret service man look at all that holy smokes okay here's another quick question what if I go back to the foundation for instance will it allow me to <laughs> buy uno mas uh, lunchbox <laughs> you gotta be kidding me you can actually buy it again. Seriously? <laughs> this is good. Oh my god. Oh, I like uh, lagged. <laughs> Let me fast travel to him. Again, okay, just like oh my god, you get no way. <laughs> I thought there was gonna be like some sort of a daily limit or something, but it looks like. Hello? I do not believe you, man. Hello? You got lunch? <laughs> hello, hello. Wait, what if I just do it like this? Dude, take my gold bullion, man. Oh my god. I'm going beast mode, I'm telling you. This is crazy. Well, I'm going to keep some for me right now. But, <laughs> hell yeah. Thumbs up to that, baby. 
By the way, additional tip on top of uh, when I was scrapping my perk cards, I've noticed that your uh, the tank killer now not only benefits the rifles, but it also benefits the pistols. So you can see your rifles and your pistols ignore 36% more uh, armor and have 9% chance to stagger. So that's cool. All right, and this is where I'm going to be calling in the end for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. It did take me quite a, a while to make it, but man, and this patch, so far so good, I must say. Uh, I've encountered only one bug, uh, that box was following me around all the time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the game has become difficult, and man... Now I need to get more levels to complete my build even more and figure out ways on how am I, <laughs> I don't even know man, this is crazy. Now I definitely got a lot of things to do and uh, to think over the build and how I, I should do it, so it's crazy. But yeah, you know the drill, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity once you're commenting, uh, you can provide negative, positive feedback without swearing and everybody will be able to see that comment and react to it. Uh, if you do swear, nobody will see that comment and nobody will react to it. So it's simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. And uh, if you'd like to join our Discord, over 600 members, so it's pretty big. Uh, the link is down in the video description and I've created a tutorial on how to use it so you know how to get uh, access to the needed chats. Basically all the links that you may find useful are down in the video description. Once again, thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning, day and night. Whatever you guys like it at, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go. We are the clan.